Okay, this is still one of the best experience I've ever got in a custom room I'm talking about. It's not a custom room available for some of the devices, but it's available as a ported ROM for some. And if you're a OnePlus device user and old OnePlus device user, then this one is available for you. I'm talking about Oxygen OS and unfortunately, it's now the latest updated version of Oxygen OS 13, 14 is actually merged with Color OS. So it is not that great, unfortunately, but this is one of the best options. And this was one of the best options. We are talking about Oxygen OS 11 here, and it was so amazing. Although I'm using a ported version in my device, which is Mi 11X, but it's available. It was, it is available for some other devices too. If you check out their device community group, some bugs might be there, but because I use this on my device as a daily driver, I used that previously too. Now again, even in 2024, I'm using this Android 11, which seems weird sometimes, but it's actually so good. Some of the great things which are available, which are actually the part of this, first of all is the dialer. Theme dialer is available in AOSP based custom rooms, but this is the original OnePlus dialer, which gives you great vibes. As you can see, call recording is inbuilt, of course, without that announcement. All the things are super cool. Uh, some cool options are also available in the settings, the fonts, a lot more things. This Ascent color, which is in this red or maroon or basically pink kind of style. So things were quite good that time because it's not updated to the latest uh, other security patches, but that's completely fine. If you are okay with it, then you can try it out. But if you are not, you can skip this thing. Also, the default messaging app is the OnePlus messaging app is interesting one because we have two sections divided here. Transactional messages are there and promotional messages are there. And some cool options are, of course, available in the settings. So you can customize or choose which things you want to use or not. The file manager is also quite good because we are using a OnePlus Home here, OnePlus Portier Room, OnePlus Oxygen OS 11 version. Uh, we have all the OnePlus apps available pre-installed in my case. You will also get this if you use a Portier Room. And of course, because these are OnePlus, so if you move into the Google Play Store, you might be able to update them officially, which is a very good thing. The settings UI was also so good. Uh, actually, this kind of settings UI is also available in some of the custom rooms. You will definitely notice that. I'm not exactly sure about Android 14, but in Android 13, in some of the custom rooms, this kind of settings UI was available. So in case you are wondering, this is the default and official settings UI what I am using right now. In utility section, you will find the app locker and parallel apps option. Uh, unlike MIUI or some other OEMs where you have the option to clone the apps for almost a lot of apps actually support. But in this case, not every app is supported. Only few apps are supported, unfortunately. But as far as I know, there is a Magisk module available for that. Maybe LS Post module through which you can unlock all the supported apps or unlock all the apps which can be cloned. It also brings you the app locker support, same like MIUI, One UI, and some other OEMs. Even, I guess, not stock Android, uh, only the stock Android is left right now, which does not bring you app locker. The battery UI or battery page was also so good here. You can notice here. And one more thing is this kind of battery uses stats or this kind of battery UI was available in Shape Shift OS, Wave OS. I remember those custom homes. Unfortunately, those are not updated now, but those custom homes were so good. Uh, were giving you experience from Oxygen OS as a custom room. This is a battery style UI. It's also available. It was actually available in Corvus OS 2, as far as I know. In buttons and gestures, you will find some quick gestures where all new or basically the same three finger gesture is also present here. Three finger screenshot, flip to mute. Some screen up gestures are also there. Uh, to be very honest with you, I don't use them much, so I'm not going to talk about it. But if you use it, you have some screen up gestures available. All the options are available to customize. As this is the version which I'm using on Mi 11X is actually a custom one. So it is having some customizations already. If you are using Poco F3, if you're using Mi 11X, so you have this kind of same options available. And if you are not, if you are uh, using any other device here, you might have the normal stock customization. Like in my case, I have the modded quick settings options available. I've enabled that. Let me show you how the things are going on. If you check out the quick settings panel here, the clock, the date, and the padding, I guess, this is a bit different. 
nothing major changed here just about the clock and the padding and the date but yes it looks good with the blur in the background and android 11 style quick settings panel was always good the default fonts oneplus sans other fonts are custom in this custom room only but uh, oneplus sans fonts are already available in all the oneplus devices or oxygen os and these fonts are looking good i sometimes use them even in a custom room because in some custom rooms we have these fonts available icons accent color these kind of options are present in android 11 based custom rooms already so yes things were different there one thing which is, which it is lacking and which is of course kind of expected because we do not have the monet theming because that was introduced with android 12 so 12 13 14 are there but android 11 we do not have the monet theming support we also have the option for screen calibration so in case you want to know about the screen colors here uh, refresh rate options and some extra things which are kind of okay okay you can check them out in case you want to We also have some status bar options, some useful things like battery style, battery percentage, and uh, the network traffic speed indicator, which you can enable on your device. And uh, else, things are basically same. One thing is the Volti Wi Volti and Vo Wi-Fi icon is also present here. Let me show you. Let me move on to the icon manager once and show you Volti Vo Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a very good and the icons are the basically icon which is available in the status bar. As you can see, the Volti icon looks cool, which is quite impressive. In some of the things, in some of the custom rooms, even the Volti icon does not look good, unfortunately. But that's completely fine. So these are the major things which I just wanted to let you know my experience about this one. Why I am still loving this Oxygen OS version, Android 11 based. even in 2024 because it's so good the experience was just absolutely brilliant the even the default launcher is oxygen os launcher so this brings me some cool interesting vibes here you have the option to choose between icon packs custom icon packs although it's a modded one not every time you have these features available uh, launcher layout is available there in oxygen os launcher also have the option for uh, double tap to lock add app icons to home screen and you also have the option for hidden space so which means you will be able to hide the apps from the app drawer and how you can enable that simply move into app drawer let me show you and then from this bottom left swipe to right and here it is we have the hidden applications available because most of you already know that but in case you don't this is what we have so this was my experience i hope you like this because oneplus oxygen os was one of the best experience i have ever had so if in case you want to try this one link is available in the description for me 11x for other devices how you can get that you can check out your device community group or channel you might find that thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one